meet the creepy, AI-driven Mr. Peterson. This character has one mission, keeping you from discovering his secrets. Hello, and welcome to Hello Neighbor 2. In this game, you'll be playing as a local journalist named Quentin, who is suspicious of his creepy neighbor, Mr. Peterson. For those new to the Hello Neighbor franchise, this is Raven Brooks, the sort of town where everyone keeps to themselves and goes about their lives. Normally, you would too, except a bunch of people have gone missing. And there's just something strange about your neighbor, Mr. Peterson. Everyone is afraid of him. There have been rumors of children going to his house and never being heard from again. Some people say he likes to lock people up in his basement. But no one has any proof. So people just try to avoid Mr. Peterson, his odd house, and ignore the strange sounds coming from his basement that night. You have a feeling that Mr. Peterson is behind all of the neighborhood disappearances, but no one believes in your ideas and theories. And while you normally wouldn't break into someone's house, you're the only one who believes something is wrong and has the guts to uncover the truth. When you break into Mr. Peterson's house, you'll be going against an AI that is constantly evolving. Our goal for Hello Neighbor 2 is to provide unique player experiences. This is an experience that is driven by the community. Mr. Peterson's behavior is a combination of a neural network and algorithms that allow him to constantly learn from his experiences with everyone who plays our game. It begins with the collection of player activity. Mr. Peterson takes note of player behavior, whether or not most players are likely to hide in a closet, use a certain escape route, or certain objects. As time progresses and he learns, Mr. Peterson's behavior may change and surprise you. How Mr. Peterson plays in one encounter with you might be different from the next, all due to his encounters with the game's community as a whole. In this way, the community's experience with Mr. Peterson changes over time, allowing for an AI that is developed through community actions, replayability, and great stories of neighborhood shenanigans. But these new experiences go beyond Mr. Peterson. In Hello Neighbor 2, players can interact with all characters in Raven Brooks, and these characters share the same AI core, but behave differently and have their own stories for you to discover. So while you might think you're just playing the game, you're really contributing to the development and improvement of Mr. Peterson's AI. We hope this presentation of our AI and development gives you an idea of what to expect in Hello Neighbor 2. If you'd like to try an early access version of Hello Neighbor 2, you can check out some of our alphas on the Microsoft Store. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the neighborhood.